Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Um, before I get out on this road, I'm getting out a little later. This morning, I went to bed uh, kind of late. I went to bed this morning, actually. So got me some rest, about to go get me a protein drink, get on this road. But before I do, I wanted to come to y'all, talk to y'all about some things that I saw last night. And I was like, well, I'll just do the video first thing in the morning. So first of all, I hope everybody's Wednesday is going well. And if not, I pray that it turns around for you. It's Wednesday already, y'all. When I tell y'all these weeks are flying by, I'm like, it was just literally last Friday. And now here we are Wednesday, like literal hump day. Um, yeah, I ain't doing, but ain't no humping for me because my man is on his way to California. Anyway, <laughs> too early for that. Let's get into some things. First up, let's talk about Blueface. Now this is from the Jasmine brand. Blueface shares daily prison routine and gives update on relationship with Krishan Rock. We're vibing. So Blueface is offering fans a glimpse into his daily life behind bars. In a recent phone interview from prison with DJ Head and Gina Views on the radio show, Effective Immediately, Blueface shared an update on his incarceration. Is that different from before? Like the things that they can do in jail now, they can be on social, they can get tablets. They can be on social media. One of my girlfriends was on a dating app child and there was a profile from a man in prison. Had the nerve, y'all, when she showed us this, had the nerve to say what he wanted in a woman. No smoking, must be this, must be that. Sir, you are behind bars for another year on a dating app. So I didn't know they could do all these things from jail, but anyway. The 27-year-old rapper confirmed that he is serving a four-year sentence for violating his probation in connection to an assault case. With credit for time served, his sentence is effectively reduced to three years, and he estimates he will be released around March or April 2025. He said, so I got sentenced to four years. I got a year's credit, so that goes down to three years, and I got to do 33% of that. So I'll be home probably like March or April 2025. Um, by the way, if y'all hear beeping, it's my microwave I just warmed up some water so just ignore that I didn't even think that it was gonna beep after I, I don't know what I was thinking y'all but it's still early anyway discussing his daily life behind bars Blueface described a routine marked by simple pleasures I'd be jacking off watching tv eating Doritos and using the phone that's pretty much it they only got like 12 channels. I've been watching a lot of the news, the Sherry show and the Jennifer Hudson show. He said, I'm chilling, man, in my environment. I'm sorry, I'm chilling, man. I'm in my environment. It's like a little break from responsibility. I'm like 180 pounds right now. I've never been 180 before. I'm getting sized up. I'm about to bounce out looking like a Dalmatian. Despite his current situation, Blueface remains optimistic about his future and his relationship with Krishan Rock, the mother of one of his sons. Both are facing legal issues, including Rock's recent arrest for an outstanding drug warrant. Me and Rock, we vibing right now. He noted that while they stay in touch, their legal troubles have impacted their ability to be fully present for their child. <sighs> they vibing right now. I guess they're able to kind of talk a little bit. I thought I'd seen that in the article, or maybe it was a different one, but basically he's he's in his environment. Moving on. There's also, according to the Jasmine brand, and speaking of jail and prison, ex-Minneapolis officer Thomas Lane released from prison after completing three year sentence for involvement in George Floyd murder. One of the police officers serving jail time for the murder of George Floyd has been released. Reports confirm that former Minneapolis officer, uh, police officer Thomas Lane completed his three-year sentence and is now a free man. Thomas Lane served his sentence in Colorado and is expected to go into supervision. As the Bureau previously stated, he would, he stated he would now that he has been released. As you may know, as you may recall, the ex-policeman is one of four convicted on charges related to George Floyd's 2020 death, which sparked worldwide protests and catapulted the Black Lives Matter movement into mainstream media. While Lane was not directly responsible for the murder, he was convicted on federal charges 
of violating Floyd's civil rights and was sentenced to two and a half years in federal prison. He also received three years from the state and was charged with aiding and abetting manslaughter. Two of those years were served concurrently with his federal sentence, which ended on February 28th of this year, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Lane is the first of the four officers to get out of jail. Derek Chauvin, who held his knee on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes while he was handcuffed face down in the street over suspicions that Floyd used a counterfeit bill, was ultimately convicted on state charges of murder and manslaughter and sentenced to 22 and a half years. In addition, he pleaded guilty to federal charges of violating Floyd's rights and was given a 21-year sentence. As for the other officers involved, J. Alexander Quang uh, pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to three and a half years. While I'm not sure how to say this name, uh, T-O-U, and then the last name is T-H-A-O, was convicted of second degree aiding and abetting manslaughter and sentenced to nearly five years. Both were also found guilty of civil rights violations, receiving three and three and a half year sentences, respectively. Reportedly, all of the state and federal sentences are concurrent. So one of the officers that was involved has gotten out of jail. Imagine them moving to a different town and ending up on the police force again. I mean, because I surely can see that happening. Moving on. Jasmine Brand again. Come on, Jasmine Brand, for giving us stories. Let's talk about Russell Simmons. So, you know, we've seen him pictured with a lot of his celeb friends lately. There's been a lot of conversation online and a lot of backlash towards those celebs. Let's get into it. Russell Simmons lists what he's done for the Black community plus response to backlash over celebrity friends visiting him in Bali amid sexual assault allegations. Russell Simmons is setting the record straight amid backlash over his high profile friends visiting him in Bali following numerous sexual assault allegations against him. The 66 year old entrepreneur took to social media to go live and clarify whether he is hiding out in Bali amid the claims against him as well as the criticism his famous friends have faced for visiting him during the controversy. Regarding his contribution to the Black community amidst the attacks on him and his friends, Russell Simmons stated, Black people, did you forget that I got 10,000 Black men out of jail and that I changed the factory farming industry forever and that I registered more of you to vote than probably anybody you know? I worked for BLM and every movement that helped our people, all the women's rights and even gay rights, to let them demonize me in such a way that my friends cannot visit me without, you know, attacking them but yet you stand next to Donald Trump. Knock it off. He said he stood up for women's rights. Isn't he being accused? He continued to deny that he is hiding out in Bali where he, resi where he resides, stating that he is ac accessible and visible every time he returns to New York. I'll be in New York next week. This idea that I'm hiding is stupid. I call the paparazzi on myself every time I'm there. I have an office on Wilshire Boulevard. I'm there all the time. I work out in New York sometimes, but I live here in Bali. Russell Simmons says he is a friend of the Black community after fans insult his pictures. This follows years of scandal involving allegations of essay by several women. One prominent accuser, Jenny uh, Lume, a screenwriter and daughter of director Sidney Lume, alleged in 2017 that Simmons essayed her in 1991. In 2020, Jenny Lume, along with more than 20 other women, was featured in the HBO documentary On the Record, which focused on allegations of essay and harassment against Russell Simmons. Again, that was in 2020 on HBO Max called On the Record, and it was more than 20 women talking about, um, and it was focused on essay allegations and harassment against Russell Simmons. So like, since the accusation, several celebrity friends, including Usher and Taraji P. Henson, have visited Russell and Bali, sparking significant backlash. Um, what do y'all think? You know, he's saying he's not hiding out in Bali. He's in New York all the time. He calls the paparazzi on himself. Now, maybe just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I don't recall seeing pictures of him in New York. Um, all over the place. I don't know about y'all. I haven't seen him. And I too thought he was hiding out in Bali. 
you know, for him to say he worked, you know, for gay rights, for women's rights. And all the things he's done for this community. And we have over 20 women sharing their alleged experiences with him with essay and harassment. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that his friends, I guess these are his real life friends, Usher, Taraji, do y'all feel like they should be getting the backlash they should be getting? Um, or do y'all feel like, because I've seen people say maybe don't not be his friend, but it doesn't have to be so publicized. The pictures don't have to be publicized. And I'm like, mm, I guess. But then on the other hand, it's like, but if they are his friends, I don't know. Y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. If it was your friend and all these allegations. I mean, because it's not one or two. And I'm not saying that people can't lie. We know men lie, women lie, everybody lies. At the same time, that's a lot. You had a whole documentary done on you. I know Michael Jackson was one of them, but wasn't Russell Simmons another one that Oprah was going to do a documentary on or something like that, but it was pulled? Um, Russell's. Or maybe she backed out of it. So maybe it was it this was it this documentary that I mentioned here in 2020? She was supposed to be a part of it or executive producer or something like that. But um she backed out of it. Y'all let y'all let me know. I, I'm I know it was something like that, something to do with Russell, but let me know y'all thoughts on the matter. Next up, news that a lot of us speculated about already knew. Now I'm not gonna lie. When I heard this news, I thought, mm, it's actually real. I'm not saying I didn't think it was real before, but I thought, well, maybe the internet has it wrong this time. Maybe we're just seeing what we want to see. Maybe they are actually together. But it appears that the internet had it right. This is according to CNN.com. Jennifer Lopez has filed for divorce from Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez and husband Ben Affleck are officially parting ways, according to an entry on the Los Angeles Superior Court docket. Lopez filed for dissolution of their two-year marriage in Los Angeles on Tuesday, which coincides with the anniversary of their Riceboro, Georgia set wedding ceremony in 2022 after they eloped in Las Vegas a month prior. The breakup comes after reports the two had been living separately. Lopez canceled her summer tour to spend time with her family, and they put their Beverly Hills home on the market. CNN has reached out to representatives for Lopez and Affleck for comment. Their divorce marks yet another turn in a love story between two superstars that has played out in the spotlight over decades. Lopez and Affleck's marriage came more than 20 years after they first met on the set of the comedy. I never knew how to say that. Is it Geely, Giggly, Geely, where they played criminals stuck on a job together and struck up a real life friendship, which eventually turned into a relationship. Over the years, they both married others and had families, but Team Benefer rejoiced in Benefer 2.0 when they reconciled in 2021. You know, one of the things I really value across all facets of life, of my life, now is that it was handled in a way that reflected that. My life now reflects, now this, he said this in December 2021, my life now reflects not just the person I want to be, but the person that I really feel like I am, which is not perfect, but somebody who tries very hard and cares very much about being honest and authentic and accountable. It's hard to say who benefits more without going into gossipy detail. So in her paperwork, it says the date of separation was April 2024. This article doesn't give the exact date. Another article I read um, gave the exact date, but it was April 2024. When did she cancel her summer tour? Because I'm thinking, was her spending time with her family an excuse for low ticket sales or family? She's saying family, thinking the world would mean Ben and her children, but really she meant maybe her children. I don't know. I'm just wondering if it was actually about spending time with family or was it the ticket sales? But nevertheless, it is officially on the docket. Uh, I was going to say Jen Affleck. Uh, Jennifer Lopez has filed from divorce from Ben. Are y'all surprised? This something, child, we already knew. 
Were y'all hoping that they worked out? Were y'all invested in Bennett for 2.0? Or were you like, child, just another man for J-Lo? And do y'all think J-Lo will be with another person married outside? Let me see. 12 months and three days. If not married, engaged, planning a wedding. What y'all think? Y'all let me know. Again, let's talk about it. Jennifer Lopez officially files for divorce. List date of separation. It's April 2024. Russell Simmons said he's not hiding out. He goes to New York all the time, calls the paparazzi on himself. And what do you think about his friends coming to visit and posting about his visits and him telling us stop demonizing him because he has helped the black community while also stop demonizing his friends. What y'all think about the officer Thomas Lane being released and Blueface um, sharing child his day in the life of a prisoner. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all. I will be watching Dubai. Getting that out on Friday. It's not going to be no fancy intro because the producer is on the road unless I can email it to him and he can uh, do it on the road. Other than that, y'all will just be getting the recap. I love y'all so much and I will talk to y'all later. See ya.